Happy Sabbath to all of you brethren and good afternoon. In this day and age, the internet is so powerful. It is so powerful in a way that enables us to use a in a variety of ways. It is uh, being used and is very effective, useful tools in sales. In uh, March of 2020, global retail website traffic hit 14.3 billion visits signifying unprecedented growth of e-commerce during the lockdown of 2020. Studies show that in the U.S., as many as 29% surveyed shoppers state that they will never go back to shopping in person again. In the U.K., 43% of consumers state that they will expect on Keep on shopping the same way after the lockdown is over. We know <laughs> this is um, a joke and this is a story about a uh, elderly couple walking in the mall um, holding its uh, hand together, you know, uh, looks so cute and uh, romantic. But they said that there's also a benefit of that, uh, holding hands. They said it's actually economical. You know that? You know, uh, turning to the right, turning to the left, so uh, holding each other. So it's, it's uh, they said, economical. But uh, sitting aside on that one, it's a joke. But uh, that, that would be obsolete uh, in this uh, digital world uh, because... You know, you can just hop on into your uh, computer and uh, order something from there, <laughs> wouldn't it? But uh, because of the internet, retail sales of e-commerce shows that lockdowns because of COVID-19 still skyrocketed and uh, has a big impact on e-commerce and its share sales are expected to reach 6.5 trillion dollars by 2023 a staggering amount staggering amount we look into the broadcasting as well they shifted from analog to digital to reach a wider audience you know wider audience and they sell the same holds through with conferences educational uh, lectures and uh, church services and also in the preaching of the gospel According to statistics, as of January of 2021, there were 4.6 billion active internet users worldwide and 59.5% of the global population, you know, that's 59.5% uh, of the global population, uh, accordingly. And of this total, 92.6% or 4.32 billion access the internet via mobile devices. But not all good news on the internet. The internet and social media allows criticism and bullying to hum humiliate people on a much grander scale too. Sometimes we hear that the destructive behavior that uh, is called cyber bullying drives someone to the point of ending their lives. Critical and harsh words can hurt deeply. As humans, you know, and uh, human nature dictates, we are not spared from it. And I must confess that I am at war. I am at war with this kind of behavior and character too. And we lose and if we allow them. They can affect in every aspect of our lives. So it is my purpose uh, 
to share with you uh, what we can do to deal positively with these hurtful words. And uh, bringing you the topic this afternoon, criticism. Criticism. Can you handle it? It's just a nature of the majority of people to often to focus on the bad. That's what we are. That's why we need to change. You know, we can easily say and comment, you were home late last night. You did not wash the dishes. You did not tiny the lawn, uh, tidy the laundry. And you did not mow the lawn. And yet, we are ignoring the goods. The kids getting a good mark at school, respecting the elderly, uh, helping the house chores. The need to be acknowledged, uh, the need to be commended in this sense. Though this year we keep the peace and the lockdown, except a few of us in uh, Taupo, we hear a lot of praises and commendations uh, because of the best effort and the job well done. We often heard these uh, phrases, very good, very nice. And if there's a disagreement that uh, came, just one party that says, ah, that's okay, uh, no problem, uh, that's okay. Uh, that's uh, just to quell the hotly debated I issue. We often hear this phrase, which actually the author is unknown, and I quote, When I do wrong, I hear it never. When I do well, I hear it never. Rings very true. The business world has this kind of attitude too and we need to avoid on this one. You know, if I'm unhappy with you, you will know it. If you don't hear anything from me, then everything is fine. Let's consider this wise advice uh, from Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29 from New International Version. And I read, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but let, oh, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. It's certainly not constructive and helpful to join in an office discussion about one of your staff's latest mistake. Commonly, you know, in the feast, uh, we dine a lot. And it is not wise that if it happened to you uh, to tell the waiter that you may have ate <laughs> the worst food ever. My personal experience while driving home from Picton after hopping out the ferry after the feast uh, from uh, Taupo, uh, crossing the uh, coastal road of Kaikora, watching the several pods of sea seals, relaxing uh, and uh, sandbathing on top of uh, uh, rock boulders. We stopped for a bite uh, to try their renowned uh, tasty fresh blue cut catch and their crunchy fries. The filleted and buttered blue cut uh, catch looked delicious and uh, mouth watering. But I'll tell you on my first bite, the tiny bone stuck uh, on my uh, throat. <laughs> That's a, a big problem uh, there now. You know, attempted to get rid of it, it stays there. I was upset and uh, about to approach the management, but the troubling group uh, calmed me down and said, just drink a couple of, uh, you know, 
water and uh, advised me to partially chew the chips then uh, swallow it bravo it works it works then the, the problem there if I approach the management uh, straight away so that we not would not be a nice situation another maybe uh, situation you may waited an extra two hours in an airport uh, for your friend's uh, delayed flight to come in, but uh, telling your friend that you are miserable uh, for the wait will only make your friendship feel bad. You see that? Now, there's a lesson here. Before you speak, ask yourself. What I'm trying to accomplish? Will saying something create a possible resolution? Or perhaps would create a bigger problem? What I'll be gaining, you know, by saying this? Who stands to benefit by speaking up right now? This world, the internet, the social media, may present chaos and unfriendliness but remember that you have your best friend you have your be best friend god so make god your best friend that's the point number one that i will give you make god your best friend who truly understand the depths of your heartfelt feelings in Hebrews 5, oh, sorry, in Hebrews 4, chapter 4, verses 15 to 16. Hebrews 4, verse 15 to 16. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Verse 16, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Instead of being frantic and easily uh, to criticize, we can learn to be encourager. Point number two, learn to be encourager. Learn to be encourager. Wise King Solomon gives guidance and knew the power of encouragement that lead him to write in uh, Proverbs 25:11. Proverbs 25, 11, New Century Version. The right word spoken at the right time is as beautiful as gold apples in silver bowl. We Christians and the people of God should learn and enjoy giving good advice. Giving good advice. Saying the right word at the right time is so pleasing. The impact of of those positive and encouraging words is so powerful. Mark Twain once said, and I quote, I can live for two months on a good compliment. And also, uh, King Solomon says as well, Finally, hearing good news from a distant land is like a drink of cold water when you are dry and thirsty. Learning to say the right thing at the right time takes some practice. We have to train our minds to look for and a focus on the positive in other people and then make effort to comment on them. So remember, whatever happens, Say, you and against the world, God is there. And make God 
as your best friend. Don't forget as well, say positive things and pass on compliments in a timely manner and be an encourager. Failing to do so is a wasted opportunity to lift up someone else in a certain situation.